very important diary. Um, so this is my little video to discuss my feelings and to say about the tragedy that happened last week when I went to the bike shop and I lost one of my ears. Um, as, as you know, it's winter here in England, and and so I'm, all, I'm already fairly depressed. The cold weather is getting inside my hair, getting inside my brain. And it's making my fingers both fast and slow at the same time. So sometimes it's hard to pick up things. Other times it's really fast to remember and to pick up things. And so anyway, I was I was heading down to the town centre, and from here in my house where once I live, and. I didn't know what my plans were, I didn't know how safe I was, I didn't know that I needed any precautions for my trip, for my journey. Anyhow, I set off, I had no plans in my head, I knew that I might end up down at the bike shop, but I, I wasn't completely sure, I knew that I had a few pennies in my pocket and that I was going to spend them, but not on cauliflowers, not on bicycles, not on icicles, not on fabrics. So anyhow, so I left my house. I put on my hood, not my hat, my hood. I walked down the road and all of those who know me quite well, they know that not far down the road from where I once live, um, there's a train station just over on the left, which is to the north of here. Um, so I have the option of continuing on along the road, which sort of goes over a bridge to the right, or I could take a sharp left to the train station. Um, so I could get a direct train down to the town, which of course would cut off about half an hour of of journey time for me because it's either a kind of 35 minute walk or I'd say now to you now that it'd be a five or six minute journey on the train very quick by rail by the British rail system on the tracks so I decided to take the option of spending my two pound ninety pence and getting a journey down to town to spend my pennies from my pocket on a train to cut out some time maybe gives me some extra time for later to spend with the pets or maybe to wash the walls or something like that wipe the grease from underneath the car that accumulates and then um, so I eventually got down to the town after being on a bustling train journey one too many people on the train of course as happens this time of year the train of course being a nice warm option in the winter compared to a brisk cold walk and of course the, the cold was already getting to my hair, getting to my brain I wasn't enjoying myself that day and um, anyhow, so I, I got down to the town, um, I put my hand in my pocket, there was my train ticket, there was my cash card, there was my pennies, uh, it was Christmas coming, the goose was getting fat, I didn't know if I was going to buy Christmas presents, I didn't know if I was just going to spaz all my money up the wall on some, on some pints of the booze. So anyhow, I decided, was I even going to bother to meet my friends like I suspected I might? I didn't. I couldn't be bothered. This time of year the depression gets to me. It works its way inside like a deep boring mole and it makes me make decisions that I know are wrong and I know that they're incorrect but I, but I go with them instinctually because um, unfortunately my instincts are quite often wrong and anyhow so I, I went into the town I went to the card shop bought the cheapest cards possible for people for Christmas um, I went into the game shop, just had a peruse, just had a peruse, I had to look around, just left. No games now are needed. Um, I walked up the road and as you know at the far end of the town there in St Andrew's Market here in town, there's the bike shop, so uh, my bike, is, as you already know, it's um, it's got two very flat tyres. Uh, my children's bikes, my, my two children, funny enough, have three bikes between them. <laughs> But I don't even have the one that works. It has two very flat tyres. and Not that I took it downtown with me, but I thought I'd go and have a look in the bike shop. So I went in there, and um, let's just say that I went in there with two ears, and came out with one. And I'm not prepared to go into any more detail than that. But I'll not be going back to that bike shop. Not until A, I've decided that I want to face facts and retrieve my ear. Or B, I need to fix my bike, and I need to go all the way back downtown with my bike. It's a massive bike, it won't even fit in the back of our small car, our small red car. So I need to work up the courage to wheel my bike all the way downtown with its flat tyres. Or I guess I could just chuck it on the train, something like that, and take it straight down to the bike shop. But then what do I do? Do I kill two birds with one stone? Do I get? Do I come out with two 
two working tyres and two working ears, or obviously I've made an enemy in the shop, do I open the door, have him put on a, a hood or a disguise, and just, you know, here's my bike, fix it, chuck in some money and run off. Yeah, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to be repealing myself of any ear situations in this case. So anyway, that's one of the problems that's happened to me this week. That's my um, prior to Christmas problem that I've had. And as you can imagine, it's been ruined Christmas for me. Christmas has been nothing. The goose has been getting fat. The kids have had a nice time. But now I'm sitting here, earless. Um, I can hear myself talking, because of course, there's, there's an ear. There's an ear, but it's not an ears situation. It's just a ear, an ear situation for me. So, you know, I'm I'm walking to town, past the college. People are looking at me. They're probably thinking, why is this guy? What what's up with this guy and his ear? Why has he just got one ear? Why is it slightly bigger than it should be? And why is there only one of them? He's got one nose, fine as it should be. There's one ear, fine, as it should be. Oh, no, wait, no, stop. There should be two, but there's one, yeah? This, this guy is messed up, yeah? He's not just messed up in the brain. He's not just, like, messed up with his funny moods, yeah? And his violent turns. He's messed up in the ear department as well, and I don't know if I'm coming or going, yeah? And my balance is slightly off as well. So, um, as you can imagine, I keep slightly, slightly tumbling to the left as I walk, in fact, there was one time when, when I was walking last week down to the bike shop. Well, on the way back from the bike shop, should I say. I was coming out of St Andrew's Market where the bike shop is, walking back down through the town centre, and my balance was off, off kilter, and I slipped to the left, and my head cascaded. It cascaded with an old lady and virtually killed her. Yeah, she was, she slumped up against the wall. Her arms broke, brittle bones in her arms. Her arms all broke. But, but who's to say if she was okay? Yeah, my, my first thoughts, am I okay? Yeah, because I've just fallen over because of my ear. So she's just crumpled up on the ground. And I'm like, I've got to get home. I've got to wrap presents. I've got to wonder about my bike. I've got enough on my plate. And now I've got the ear situation. Or ears situation. Whatever you want to call it. But it hasn't been a good, good Christmas. Anyway, so that's, that's my... Thank you for watching my, my very good vlog. Thanks. Yeah, have a good Christmas. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Yeah, I hope this has helped you. It's good to talk things out, to get things out into the open. Um, uh, you know, take care. See you next time.